Today Gary is going to see a dog. I'm not even getting involved there. I'm just letting him do his thing, <laughs> living his best life. Is this even happening? Look at what you're doing to me. I feel like we're in a movie. I know, I feel like I'm in a movie too. I don't want him to bad oh, What if he poops when while he's sleeping? Good morning. Today we're gonna try something different because it's been almost a month where I've been moving my body only once a week which is not acceptable Gary's been trying to convince me to try the Peloton for the longest time He's obsessed I think I'm gonna do it now I'm gonna go and do it Let's put a cute workout outfit on and let's do it Okay, wanted to say a huge thank you to Stronger for sponsoring this portion of the video This outfit I am ready to sweat and look cute. Okay, enough, let's go. Let's go get it. Oh my God, oh, I need to stretch a bit before. Gary, he gets up at 5.40, goes downstairs, does his Peloton for 20 minutes to half an hour, and then Sean, who trains him, comes in, and they do it. Oh my goodness. Who is this? Are you training today? I'm gonna do a Peloton. <laughs> okay. Okay, I survived my first cycling class i have to say the outfit did help a lot to get out of bed and start the workout and it held up so well there's a lot of kind of bending and twisting uh, during the workout and it didn't move it also not see-through which is very rare with light kind of fabric type of workout clothes they have a lot of really really cute colors and range i'm gonna link uh, the outfit in the description box and also so you guys get 20% off with using the code Valeria20. So, I got you. How do I look? Do I look like a professional cyclist, Gary? A professional something or other. The most difficult part of this workout is trying to figure out how to take these off. How do I get them off? No, no. Okay, come here. Ah, gotcha. Push it in. Pull the strap. What's up, babe? Okay. Why are you being weird? Why are you being weird? Rachel wants to talk to you. Hello? Here. Hello. She wants to FaceTime with you. Grab the phone. Go ahead. Why are you being weird? You're being weird. <laughs> What's up? Gary's so weird. <laughs> so weird. Um, so I, I told Gary and I wanted to, to tell you, um, especially last night, I want to have this close relationship with you and Gary where I can always be honest. And when you looked at me last night, it was like, is everything okay with you? Um, I'm pregnant. Oh my god, I knew it. <laughs> I knew you knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you knew it. Um, I just wanted to let you know, I have been so sick. Like, so, so sick. And I know you've been through it three times. I don't know what your experience has been, but I have way more respect for you. And every, every woman who's ever had a child now. This is not easy. But I've been so sick, and I've also had a, just a few complications. I keep fainting. I, like, I've just not been great so i just want to tell you and gary that if you feel like i feel not 100 percent myself towards you guys or a little bit more disengaged it's just because i'm so incredibly nauseous and and nervous but i just wanted to tell you guys just you know just so oh you my know. god well first of all mazel tov i totally Thank knew you. i just didn't want to ask because it would be rude and gary will <laughs> condemn my behavior. yeah i would have been like what are you doing yeah, I, I was fainting as well, and I totally knew what you're going through. So if you need anything, let us know. But definitely take this time to, like, lean on us. And uh, Gary's here for anything that you need specifically with the company. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to volunteer me to, like, deliver pickles and ice cream over to her house. We can totally like, do anything. that. <laughs> anything. So now I get to ask you all the questions, at least. You got it, boo. That's amazing. <laughs> 
Thank you for sharing it with us. That's really sweet. And I asked Rachel beforehand if I'm allowed to vlog this, so I don't want you to oh, think okay. that I'm, I'm like, like giving completely. You, I'm giving you yeah. a side eye. Like she's giving me side eye, Rachel, and I knew like when the call would be done, she was about to like slap me in the face. So that's so exciting. That's amazing. I had a feeling you knew the way you looked at me last night. I was like, damn, I can't lie to this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was oblivious. I, felt I had no clue. In the air. I had no clue. Well, send Mazel talk to Andrew from us. I will. Really cool. Thank you. And we still have to book that dinner, so we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, sure. we can do a patio. We'll yeah, have I'll to do a it. patio. But not sushi. Not sushi. Not no. sushi. Not sushi. Okay. Not Anyways, sushi. Rachel, right. that's Bye, awesome. Guys. Thank you. We'll talk soon, okay? Congrats. Thank congrats. Thank Bye. Thank you. Bye. I guess I'm so oblivious Maybe it's a this. woman's like, Did you intuition. Really know? I knew. I She's been know. off a little bit, not like with her work, but I've noticed that she was a little like off. Anyways, I think if it's a boy, I think Gary's a strong name. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out to the universe. What, what just happened? I have, a I have a lunch meeting here. I have a lunch meeting here. Who are you having a meeting with? With Raya. I have a lunch meeting with Kimmy. We're picking stocks today. Where's Ray? Is she over there? No, she's, she'll be there in 10 minutes. What a weird coincidence. I thought your first meeting was at 2 o'clock. Oh, 2 o'clock. Alright, still have you. Bye. <laughs> I'm just sitting here and Valeria just walks by me like I'm a total stranger. We didn't realize that we had uh, our respective business lunch meetings at the same place. You can sit with me till Kimmy comes too. So, What's up? you can take your mask off now. Can I? So you want to hear something weird that just happened? What? I went to the orthodontist. Yeah. And this the the girl who was removing yeah. like these things that were on my teeth. She's like sitting. I can see her eyes are like smiling at me, and I'm I'm feeling like weird. Hi, Kimmy. And she goes, hey, Kimmy. What are you doing here? She's meeting with me. I thought we have a meeting. <laughs> So coincidentally, coincidentally, Valeria is here for a meeting with somebody meeting. else who just walks by. I me. got my own meeting. So yeah. I went to the orthodontist. And I was just telling you, I went to the orthodontist, and the girl's like all like being weird, and she goes, "I love your wife." <laughs> I'm like, "That's so cute." She goes, "No, you guys are awesome. Congratulations on your party. It was cool." And then she like went right in. That was very nice, very intimate. Good morning. We are back with Becca in her uh, car. Today Gary is going to see a dog. I'm not even getting involved there. I'm just letting him do his thing, <laughs> living his best life. And then when it actually is time to pull the trigger, we'll see where that's gonna go. So today we're going to see a venue for my birthday. I have a live today with Tamara. So many people grew up on her and her sister. And actually today I also have kind of a work um, get together. Chanel is putting together a dinner for their partners. They're also putting us into a hotel. So today I'm gonna be staying at the Four Seasons. So it's a little bit of like a TLC day for me, which is really nice. Last night I feel like I was a zombie. Jake woke up at like 3, no, 1 a.m. He had like a nightmare, started running oh. down the stairs. Then Maxie woke up at 4. So it's been, it's been, it's been a day already. <laughs> and it's only like, what is it, 10? 10.30. <laughs> Love it. Life is very dynamic for me these days. <laughs> hey, first location. I actually have no idea where we are. This is Brickworks, but it's a garden market, I think. I have to say, we definitely left it to uh, last minute and I'm kind of getting anxious about it. <laughs> My mom calls me every single day, asks me if we booked already a venue. So hopefully this would be it. Mm -hmm. It's completely open. Yeah. So if it's good weather, yeah. right, we can utilize the whole space. But if it's not? If it's not, we have this covered space here. Oh, which is not bad. Yeah. Which okay. Is, which is so, great. what do you think is happening around like end of September? You mean COVID related? No, like weather related. I wouldn't expect you to know COVID yeah. related. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> um, you know what? It's kind of. I feel like the last couple of years have been pretty warm. In yeah. Summer. Yeah. Um, but that's definitely something to consider. This used to be a brick factory? Yes. Amazing. Um, and then I love it. the city of Toronto came in and they deemed it a historical 
uh, property. Yeah. And then Evergreen came in at about 20, 2010. Yeah. So cool. Wow, okay. Could it be the one? <laughs> tum, tum, tum. Okay, we got scanned um, right. before we came in. We're healthy, we're good. So we arrived to the Four Seasons. This is part of the Chanel evening that they planned out. Also this lighting, oh my God. Do we hate it or love it? We do not, we do not love it. Okay. My forehead <laughs> looks weird. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dear Valeria, welcome to the Four Seasons. Hope you enjoy your stay and the launch of Coco Mademoiselle of Arrivera. That's so nice. <gasps> so pretty. Who's talking? <sighs> this is everything I needed in my life right now. This is so nice. There's no children here? <laughs> Oh my god, what is this life? Wow. Can you just display it in your room? That's so like cute. never gonna open it? Look how much, look at the detail. I don't want to touch anything. Look, they even have a baggie yep, to so take everything. Chanel, there's a reason why people <laughs> pay you the big bucks. Please do not disturb. I'm gonna use this in my homes. <laughs> like the branding is on point. Like you can't compete with this. I feel like we're in a movie. I know, I feel like I'm in a movie too. I feel like I'm being courted by Chanel. Okay, I uh, took a bath, which was so needed. I am ready for my pre-cocktails dinner with the Chanel team. I put this little it's like a shacket by chanel but i made it into like a shirt i just cropped it with a little belt so no one will see then i put just like my aritzia skirt boots because comfort comes first this is my face today my ear party do you see it you don't see nothing it's too bright oh you see here look i have my ear party Dum da da dum, and that's it. I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna take some pictures. Bye. I came back. It was such a wonderful evening of just catching up and um, kind of seeing what everyone's been up to during. COVID, had amazing food. The food was out of this world. I had to excuse myself earlier. I've noticed that it's like 10.45 p.m. I literally thought I'm gonna be in bed by nine, so that kind of went a little bit longer than I expected, but oh my God, take this off. Ugh. But um, it was so, so nice. And now I'm gonna wash my makeup off, put my pajama on, read a little bit and go uninterrupted sleep <sighs> okay we are on our way uh, to dinner with our friends and today is a very exciting day for us because um, as I mentioned and showed you guys on my social media our condo slash studio is all set up which means that Gary's dream of uh, spending Saturdays downtown in our condo is coming Life. So tonight is actually our first night sleeping there and um, yeah, I feel like it's gonna be so nice. Okay, we're post dinner. We are going into the condo. It's our little overnight bag. Oh my god, it's like so freaky. It's like when we first started dating. Not dating, but we were already engaged. Yeah, we're about to stay. So nice. 
I remember this is my side of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome home. No, no, seriously. The last time you spent the night here was probably like nine years ago. Yeah. No, no, what am I talking about? Jake is seven months, seven years. So it was his age minus three months. Oh my goodness. Doesn't feel that much different. Nope. You want to show them where I gave Jake the first bath? So I gave Jake his first bath. He was just such a little guy. He was so little. He must, he must have been a couple of days old. Right here. <laughs> right here. I remember I gave him a bath. He was this big. He was like this. And I was holding him. We were pulling the pump soap that foamed <laughs> up right on his belly. And I drove it in. He was just like, and when, when, it, when he first touched the water, he got all scared and stuff. It was just so cute. And then I'll show you the place where he puked on me. Puked on you? Yeah. So there was this one time, I remember our, our friend, our friend came over this guy, hey, um, how does that look like turn on? Honestly, I don't know. Well, I think there's some other pictures here. Whoa. That's way too bright. <laughs> Anyways, so Dick's crib was right there. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Jake's crib was right here. We had our big couch here, and it was your first night out after Jake was born. And I was taking care of Jake for the first time by myself, and you were going out the door for a girls' night. And as I was holding him, he puked all over me, and you saw, and you're like, "See ya!" And you just kept going. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. So this is a crazy view. Yeah, I miss this place. So when we first bought this place, did you even like imagine what was gonna happen in our lives and where we'd be today? No. Crazy, right? Yep. Love it. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday morning um, here in our uh, in our place in the city. I just thought I would give you this little sneak peek and show you this awesome view early in the morning. You know, when we got this place about eight years ago, it was all about this view, and this was really what what got us to buy it. So I really love this place and such good memories. Jake lived here the first three months of his life, so it was it was awesome. So I'm gonna make Valeria an oat milk cappuccino this morning. Get in the coffee coffee machine warmed up and I'm gonna bring it to her in bed. Let's see how she reacts to that or if she wanted to sleep a little more. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's just, uh, it's such a, you know, it's so, it's so awesome to be able to, um, just to get away for one night, wake up and just have some time for ourselves, grab a coffee, go get some breakfast and then uh, head home and spend the day with the boys. All right, so here's Valeria's oat milk cappuccino. Let's see how this works out. What's up, baby? It was a gamble. You would either be upset for me waking you up or you would enjoy your oat milk cappuccino. Uh, second choice. You look so nice. Yeah, it's my new outfit. So, how's it going? It's going good. You slept good? Yeah, so nice. You already got your little robe on? That's great. <laughs> All right, let's go party. Where? I don't know. Let's go sit and watch the, watch the sun come out. I made the last oat milk cappuccino for you because there's no more oat milk. Oh no! That's okay. I'll drink my coffee black. You're welcome. Please tell us how we did today. You did. You did great. You, you did great. <laughs> okay, so we're buying sunscreen for me because we forgot the sunscreen. Why are you shushing me? Where are you going? I don't understand where you're going. Sunscreen. I need to put it on. What do you think? It's magic. You're gonna put it on me now. You gonna put the sunscreen on me here? Yeah, before you get exposed to the sun. Is this even happening? Look at what you're doing to me. It looks like bird poop on my head. Oh, don't, don't get my don't get my t-shirt. people okay so we just had our first night at the condo it was great we um we obviously got to hang hang out we didn't have any distractions so now we're heading home it's uh, a little after three o'clock uh, my mom came over so if you guys remember from a couple of vlogs back uh, you guys met my mom she's over at the house she wanted to see uh she wants to see the grandkids i love the fact that she's coming over more often now yeah. So it's really nice because, you know, they really feel the boys that they have two grandmas. And we didn't vlog much because we just like took the day to enjoy 
let's be real. Let's be honest and tell them what we did. We went and we did some window shopping. No, we had like we had breakfast. You know what? We had a very good breakfast. We walked thing. around. Yeah. We yeah. checked galleries that were closed. Yes, yes, yes. Um, tonight we are going over to our friend's house and we're doing like a shellfish dinner. Not a selfish dinner, a shellfish dinner. And we're gonna eat a bunch of crap that we got from the, the local uh, fish market here. So uh, we're off to the house and we'll check in with you guys in a bit. Somebody just woke up from his nap. You wanna say hi to grandma? Hi. Say hi to Babushka. Babushka, say hi to everybody. Say hi, Grandma. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh. Hi, Maxi. Oh, my goodness, I don't remember such a time. Look at this, what is this? What is this? Boys, we're going to get a dog. What do you want to name the dog? Cutie Pie. You want to name the dog Cutie Pie? What do you want to name the dog, Benny? Cutie Pie. That was easy. You don't want to name him Go Bananas Pee Pee? No, that's mine. But isn't this long? Like, if you want to call him, you'll have to be Cutie Pie instead of maybe like Cutie Pie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so are you guys going to feed this dog? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Feed the snack. That's not our responsibility. Feed him pizza. What? That's not our responsibility. Feed him pizza. You bought it, so it's yours. <laughs> I need to do Did you say that it's not your responsibility? It's yours. Okay, so you guys don't want the dog? You bought it, so it's yours. Okay, so if we get the dog, then you're gonna okay, have to Okay, now we're gonna need... Okay, who's gonna, gonna, who's gonna take that. the dog for a walk? You. Okay, Jake, you're gonna take the dog for a walk? No, you, mama. Me? <laughs> we should keep him in a cage. No, we can't keep him in a cage. No, we're gonna get him a bed. Yeah, hey, he's gonna sleep in your room with you guys. Oh man. Well, what's the problem? <laughs> I don't want him pooping in a room. He's not gonna poop, he's gonna be trained. He's not yeah. pooping anywhere. And don't feed him beans. Dogs hate beans. Is there a oh, thing dogs. that dogs hate? I'm actually dogs. Yeah, they hate it when I'm brothers kind of fight. Fun. When not they see kidding. brothers no, fighting. No, a thing, not something we do. A thing. Yeah, so the no, thing like, is, no, if like you... Water. No, they like they something. like water. They like water. Okay, so if you guys fight, the dog might bite you. So are you gonna fight? I don't. No, I don't want him to be bad. Oh. What if he poops when while he's sleeping? Do you poop when you sleep? Well, no. So why would the dog poop when he sleeps? Because because humans and dogs do the same things, but they have a different but they have a different skin, and therefore. So is it okay if Did the dog? Did you just use the word therefore? And their fur, their fur. Oh. Benny, is it okay if the dog sleeps in your bed with you? I say no to that. 